Aquarius, this is Susan Levantero. I'm going to do your spread a little different today. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to split the deck and then just uh, pick the cards that way. Okay, Aquarius singles. <laughs> that is on the bottom of the deck. Okay, Capricorn. Okay, some of you are maybe going towards a Capricorn. Interesting. Okay, all right. Okay, so here's judgment. Potential for that return. Seven of Swords. Eight of Wands. The Wheel. Knight of Pentacles. All right, so first up. Okay, so there is that potential for a return, uh, Aquarius singles, if you are thinking about that. Okay, but I feel like this was you, okay, kind of escaping the scene. <laughs> okay, and the reason why is some of you had indecision, and um, some of you, it was a contract, a non-physical contract. Some of you, it was a, a physical contract, like marriage and wanting to kind of disband that contract. Okay, so, but there is that potential for return, okay, either way. So, there is no communication for a while, okay, and then... So the wheel kept turning, right? Because Aquarius, you have the luck on your side. You've got Jupiter and Saturn. So this is important because the seeds that you sow are the seeds that get sprinkled. So um, if none of this is working for you, start sprinkling new, uh, start, uh, yeah, sprinkling too, <laughs> but um, start creating new in your mind and quit going back to the past. What is the new version of everything look like? And stay focused there. Okay. So, um, here's the Knight of Pentacles. So, this is you moving slowly, right? Okay. All right. So, the fire energy is here to support you, but still taking it slow. <laughs> okay. All right. For some of you, uh, this you have uh, earth energy in your chart. Okay. So, it could be rising or moon. Okay, so we've got, uh, I think we're in Taurus moon, so that could be some of that. Okay, all right, so uh, page of wands reversed and two of cups. Okay, so, so you had the idea of union, but for some reason or another, it didn't come together. Okay. And then here's the King of Wands reversed. And okay, so there is lots of people, it seems like, uh, in the mix there. Okay, some of it was family stuff. Some of it was like work. Some of it was, uh, it was just a combination. And that caused you to feel like, uh, and just the daily grind is what I'm picking up. The daily chores, the daily grind, that got to it too. Okay, and here's the chariot reverse. So, for some of you, that it was a water sign that didn't come forward to you, okay, or changed their mind. For some of you, it's you just didn't have the energy to keep moving forward. So, you had to kind of recharge, and here's the four of cups. This is like 
uh, <laughs> and the loving cup is being offered, but you're just like uh, tired from the day's work. Okay, that's what I got here. So needing to kind of recharge, right? Go within. Okay, so um, here's the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so for some of you, the reason why you didn't move forward was because in every... It didn't matter who it was. There were at least three options. Each one was already entangled with, um, you know, like um, other family stuff or uh, their children and their stuff. So it didn't come together. Okay. All right. So the suggestion is... Forget about all those people who are treating you as an option, right? Okay, and sometimes it's not that they're treating you as an option. They just have previous obligations that they have to go towards. So no need into uh, go, getting in your head about that. It's just life, right? Okay, sometimes it's just how the dice rolls. Okay, so... Now, the key is to get out and celebrate with uh, people that you find is your um, happy place, okay? And uh, get out and celebrate and get in your joy. And that, I feel like, is going to be high vibing. So, uh, I'm seeing like Halloween parties, holidays coming up, okay? Um, times outdoors, um some of you drink wine, so I'm seeing like a wine, uh, I almost said wine -o get together, <laughs> a wine thing. Okay, and uh, so the, those are the things you want to move towards, okay, Aquarius, because I feel like that's going to get you in a higher, that is going to, okay, this is what they said. That is going to, those good times and joy, keeping your focus on that, is going to click this Ace of Pentacles, okay, for you, okay, and so that will give you more options, okay, so, um, you know, just forget about all that stuff, right, if they didn't come towards you, that's, there's the reason for it, okay, so, um, just let it go, that's what I would say, all right, so, and, um, so if you did kind of uh, escape the scene, that could have been your higher self guiding you. So give yourself some credit, pat yourself on the shoulder, and reach for good times. Okay, so here's you. Okay, now, after the hermit phase, okay, feeling more charged up, okay, this is like self-reflection, uh, self-care, you know, um, being the natural you, you know, and lighting yourself by just tuning in with your own energy. Okay, and then here's the magician, having that fire to go any, any direction you want and being able to work on anything now, okay? The key is not to overwork, okay? Because there is a time of harvest, right? Okay, so as you tune in to your own energy, you'll know when the harvest time is. Okay, so let's see from here. All right. Let's clarify that Seven of Pentacles with these little mini tarot. That one wanted to come out. Okay, Ten of Wands. Release the burdens, okay? Whatever it is, you got to start dropping those, uh, those uh, burdens one by one. You don't have to do it all at once, but figure out new ways to be less burdened. Okay, the moon and judgment. Okay, so here's a judgment again. So I feel like you all are going to go back to the past. Okay, but you're not letting anyone know. Okay, and uh, let's clarify that moon. What to do to bring this to the surface, the light of day? Oh... There's that money thing again. Uh, 
Okay. For some of you, there is a Sagittarius in the mix, and that person was uh, caused this shadow energy. Okay. So just send that person love. That's a way. Do yoga, do whatever it takes, and send that person love. If you can't send that person love, get back to neutral. Okay. And uh, the key to that is instead of uh, then hibernating in the hermit mode, get out. Okay. And I feel like by getting out more, that will bring in stability. Okay. So that judgment. So there's that return. So you may go back to the past person. Okay. All right, so the Four of Pentacles, let's see what that is. So that's family. They're showing me, what is that card? I'll show you. Uh, they're showing me. Um, okay, they're showing me this card, and they're showing me... Um, Where is it? This house, this card. Oh, maybe that's why Four of Pentacles came out. Okay, fourth house, that house, and what else? First house. Okay. All right. So these are the things that if you're in that hermit mode, still work on self-image from within to without. Okay, from within to the outside world. Okay. All right, self-image. Okay, be loving towards your physical body. Okay, fourth house is um, family, home, background, comfort, cooking, inner world, real estate, shelter, self-care, rejuvenation, habits, and shell. Okay, so shell is that hermit energy. Okay, so, or it could have been, um, oh, Okay, so that could have been a water sign. Okay, so um, in the 12th house is surrendering your subconscious mind. All that jumbled energy in your brain that you've been overworking, uh, surrender it. Okay, release it. Okay, and uh, bring compassion and love to it. Okay, and, and be gentle on yourself. Okay, so uh, there was probably family... Uh, dynamics there with the uh, this person is sitting on a treasure chest okay so that's like family legacy and things like that could have uh, been uh, in the way there okay for some of you it was a partnership where the person made less than you and you were living together and that became a burden to you in your mind okay so and that is uh, due to to a certain degree, perhaps lack mentality. Okay, so take a look into your belief system uh, and how you could maybe bring in a more positive outlook on money. And, and you know, you may say to yourself, oh, I don't have any money issues, but how you can find it is that if you find yourself as you're watching social media and things, and if you find yourself in a envious place for anything then that might be your clue okay and so once you become aware of it then you can shift it right okay all right so let's do a closing card Moon dance. Okay, so you know what? Sit with the moon. Okay, and that may be the time for you to observe self. Okay, so we're not going to force it. We're going to surrender it and flow. That's the key with the moon here. Surrender and flow. And then you can uh, look at yourself and look at what's going on. Bringing awareness to it. Being gentle on yourself. Daring, balance, easiness, adventure, and perspective. Yeah, so getting out would be good. 
Look at this girl balancing on a rope, waltzing with the moon. She is dancing through life. To be confident is a gift you should be aware of and treasure. Be brave and adventurous. Get out of your comfort zone and see life from a different perspective. If you maintain a balance between levity and lightheartedness, you can stay above the everyday noise that threatens to bring us down. Feel the night breeze in your hair and adventure in your soul. And I leave that with you, Aquarius Singles. Thank you. Okay, so any potentials? Okay, hold on. Okay, by the end of this month, I see uh, several connections. Into November, think of inclusiveness. Inclusive. How can I be inclusive? December. How can I truly joy this time without feeling obligated to having to give? <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So find ways to bring joy into the gift of giving. And I feel like that treasure chest that you were sitting on with the four pinnacles will open up too. <laughs> okay. All right. And let's see. January. Okay, January, my suggestion to you is have a birthday party, invite people over, okay, and perhaps do it outdoors because I see a lot of people showing up. Okay, and I leave that with you, Aquarius. <laughs>